Okay, so as you can see, I have Chrome open, and I'm on the new tab page here. I'm going to go ahead and click the Chrome Web Store to open that up, and then I'm going to do a search for goo.gl. And what I'm looking for is an extension called this right here, goo.gl URL shortener. So I'm going to click Add to Chrome, and then click the Add button again to confirm my intent. What you're going to see up here is this is where extensions show up uh, in your browser. So wherever I log into this account now, uh, this geo.gl UL shortener will be automatically installed. So you can see that I have this little button here now. So if I go to any page, for example, let's just say google.com, uh, and I'm going to go into I'm going to go into my drive, and I'm going to open up this uh, biology syllabus here. Okay, so I have this long URL. What I would normally do is copy this, then I'd have to go to geo.gl, then I gotta paste it in here, and then I click shorten URL, and then I gotta press control C, and I have it in there. So what this does, instead of having to do all of that, whatever page you're on, all you have to do is go over here and click this little button, and you'll instantaneously get a shortened link, okay? So if I then copy this and paste this, it'll perform that same function, but it'll save me those extra steps. There's a couple other features about this. When you click on this, you're going to see a few, uh, a few buttons down here. So you have a button that lets you copy directly, so you don't have to bother with that. There's also a details button. And what this does is if you've given it access to your account, it will um, show you click history and those kind of things. So right now it says right here, not added to history because I haven't given it access. So what I'm going to do now is click this and grant access to this application to my account. And now when I click this, excuse me, when I click this, or now it says added to history, you'll see. And now if I go to details, it will show me the number of clicks and give me statistics on who clicked it and where they came from all right there. Okay, and one more feature too, it'll show you, uh, there's a third option, QR code. So this will give you a QR code that you could then pull off uh, and make an image. And then I could print this out or put it on another web page and anybody who scans that would be redirected to this URL, which would then go to this page. And that's how that works.